you're kind of already taking us through the developing yeah. of your character, Ghost. Like, how, what did you do to prepare for this role? The first thing that I did was I tried to, I will, I will write on the left side adjectives of goodness about him. And they will become jazz my anchor so that I can make believable, that the fans would make believable a goodness. Wow. I first have the job of making believable. Talib can't spit a 16 and get out of the booth and then ask most, was that it? Mm-hmm. Talib has to go, that was that's it. it. I ain't going to say mm-hmm. the most that that's the it. But I'm going to ask most after I've decided that's it. Yeah. Then I'm going to see what most is. I had to decide the good of Ghost before distributing his good and hopeful that the fan base would equally embrace what I had decided made him good. Right. From what Courtney had given. She didn't write adjectives of good. I said, what makes him good when I really break this guy down? And then I took his bad and I felt like the bad will be therefore empathetically embraced and forgiven because this level of good is here. First thing I did. Mm. Second thing I did was I decided how hurt is he? Mm. Because if I believe hurt people hurt people, if his level of hurt is not so high, then at least I won't overly hurt. Mm. I decided that Tommy was so hurt that it justified why she had written that he's really hurting people. Oh, sure. Yeah. I made Ghost with Joseph next to me making Tommy. We did it together. We used Curtis one summer where we went to see Grandma Beulah and hung out in Curtis's house. Mm-hmm. I would speak to Notori about these things. I would speak to Courtney over and over. I would call 50. Yo, when you were in this situation, what did you feel? But the most imperative thing as the guy who's asked to wear the coat call Ghost was I had to, after doing the adjective list of goodness and bad list for Ghost, I had to say, now what's good about Omari? Mm. And what That's how fucking invested you sucks are. Yeah. about O? Yeah. What fucking sucks about Omari that he's constantly not only having to work on, but people who love him because lovers of you are not afraid to challenge you. Mm. That's right. So those who really love me, what do they say is my bullshit? So to play a character like Ghost, and Talib said it offset as well. He said, oh, you get so into the characters. I've decidedly understood at a very pubescent part of pursuing acting, in every acting class included. I said, well, shit, an actor can't be that far from the character they play. So if you see Jeffrey Wright having an ability to play 30 different characters, that nigga got like 30 different characters inside <laughs> right, of him. Right, right, right. If right. you see O's ability to go from Tiffany Haddish back to Ghost in the same year, by the way, the next day air joint is, yeah, maybe a recall to Ghost, but Ghost is a more massive steroided version of mm-hmm. Shavu. But then in between playing Ghost, you're, you're going and doing Shot Caller, which, by the way, you're law enforcement. So you're on the other side of the law. Then going back two months later to criminality, by the time Courtney and 50 say, come back to work, you finish the hiatus movie, come back. So I was constantly having to do this while wow. juggling other characters. So what I did was, early on, anchor Ghost. So that when I had to come back to Ghost, I could kind of just put the glasses of him back on and go, okay, I got who he is. And it was an ever-evolving reality because you said it best. Ghost was someone who was trying to not kill, but justifiable to himself in killing. So the only way to play that guy is to play that dude in a way of, okay, Omari, you need to know that if you less a few turns in life of goodness and positivity and that which your mother and father afforded, Mm -hmm. especially like Talib as a black man being raised in a pretty solid home. If you less a few positive turns didn't have those, you'd be going really, really wrong Mm -hmm. instead of really, really right. And so if you went wrong, is the character that you've been hired to play that different from what you'd be? Mm -hmm. So I had to really go there and I went there in a way that I did understand therefore fans going, Maybe I'm confused as to whether I meet Omari at an airport or ghost. Mm. Because I make it where it's hard for you to decide. Oh, for sure. Real quick, though, I just want to say that you just gave me chills. Like, thank you. I'm going to replay what you just said. Like, oh, it really just... Oh my God! Thank you so much. Well, because we are our own uh, characters, I preach. I'm very humbled that it was received by you. Oh yeah. But we are. We are, and Talib knows this more than anybody because hip hop is the genre that has allowed that. Yeah. The reality is, hip hop is allowed more than any other genre of music, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Rock and roll would be next. It is allowed for a character. Talib gets to go on stage and be something different. We know that Michael Jackson was super introvert and shy when he left stage, mm-hmm. but when he was on stage, so the acting thing's weird for me because. 
we're not given the same grace and mercy to wear the character. Oh, yeah. Let the character go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. MCs don't have to worry about that jazz because they're always the same character. Exactly, mm-hmm. yeah. DMX always was. <laughs> rest right. in peace. But, and rest in peace, and not only rest in peace, rest in brilliance because it was really a pastor decorated as an MC. Oh, for Say sure. that. He's a pastor. Say that. So that was a real interesting turn for me to be someone who could bring ghosts to light but equally learn that as a thespian, there's mm-hmm. a different charge on you than if you're doing music. Yeah. For right. example, if you're into the Quran, into the Bible, Latter-day Saints, Book of Hinduism, Buddhism, you know, it doesn't matter. Whatever template of religious constitute or non-religious constitute you abide by, what we know is all the holy folks on earth have walked with healers, killers, dealers, and reelers. Maybe the last is most operative. Mm -hmm. Walk with a motherfucker real. Mm -hmm. So ghost to me, I gave him permission to be a healer, Mm -hmm. a killer, a dealer, but he was real. Mm. Yes. And that's what allowed, I think, for the permeation of that which made it into households. People went, I know an uncle like that. Mm -hmm. Or Tariq acting a fool, my son's acting a fool. Whatever it was, whatever it was, we were able to permeate and get into these houses, you know. Mm -hmm. What up? Get it, call me young, go get it. They can't fuck with it, my slow, go with it.